Hey everyone, I'm Joanne. I just wanted to do my questions with Joe every Tuesday and I have collected uh, five uh, questions that I received the last week, I guess, I guess in the last two weeks, um, either through email or even at the conference that I've attended, the Haste and Hustle. Um, the first question, is there a big difference when you do dropshipping on ebay.com as a US citizen than as someone from outside US? This is a big question because absolutely, um, the process is actually very difficult from the beginning. Um, it's uh, crucial to keep everything legal. Always consult with your financial advisor or accountant when you start a new business, especially online. And always, always, always claim your income, okay? Whether it be a sole proprietor, incorporated, whatever your business is. Um, I cannot really advise you as to what you have to do to register your business or how to re run your business, but I can tell you that is very different, okay? So um, you are limited on using your PayPal credit cards. Um, as many sources in the United States do not accept international payments like um, PayPal or, you know, even credit cards. Um, so you have to most likely focus on um, building a relationship with that source first and have them allow you to do business with them. Um, so let me give you an example, okay? There's certain sources, and I'm sorry I cannot mention the names. You can maybe reach out to me in private, and I can give you the names, but I cannot talk about them here on, on YouTube. But um, there are certain sources that initially they will refuse to do business with you. Obviously, um, you know, they're concerned about your intentions, and so what you can do is obviously reach out to them directly, explain to them, um, you know, what your purpose of your business is, and, you know, give them an opportunity to get to know you, and... Um, you know, they may or may not um, remove whatever flag they put on your account. But yes, uh, you know, they can obviously do that. Um, so uh, besides the relationship um, that you have to build with the source, we have to do that anyways, you know, as, as a drop shipper. Um, yeah, so besides that, you can uh, purchase gift cards, um, you know, directly from the source um, in other ways as in order for you to place your order. So you don't necessarily have to use the credit card. Um, I'm going to put a link below um, for another um, amazing successful dropshipper, Jonathan. He has definitely more experience than me in terms of uh, gift cards and how to use them. So uh, check his channel out. Um, he's got great videos on that. Um, you have to also as an international student, um, I call a student because it takes a while to learn a drop shipping business. So you have to have a VoIP set up, like a phone set up, a, you know, with a U.S. maybe number, a U.S. address. Um, these things that a U.S. citizen does not really have to worry about. So if you can get past those um, obstacles, you can run a successful e-commerce business from outside U.S. So um, make sure you do everything legal, okay? Um, what do you look for when choosing to work for a source? Um, so the most, imp you know, um, most important, one of the most important things are um, fast shipping times. You know, people want their shit right away. You know, if they can have it the same day, they would. But unfortunately, you know, I've, I think the fastest shipping that I've gotten was a day. Okay, so it was shipped the same day and the person got it next day. But I mean, that was, you know, that's very unheard of. Um, so... Another important thing that I look for is um, a hassle-free return. Since I cannot physically store products, obviously I'm not in the United States, and so it's important that my source will provide with a good return pro um, a program for their products so I can in turn obviously um, help the customer. And speaking of customers, the most important thing that I look for with work when working with a source is customer service, okay? So um, because if they take care of me, as their customer, I can in turn provide a good quality customer service to my customers, right? So um, it's kind of like a domino effect. If they can take care of me, I can take care of them kind of thing. So that's uh, that's actually a crucial thing for me um, when I deal with sources. I deal with over 10 sources, um, but I, you know, I have my preference in terms of which ones um, I deal with, right? Another thing is uh, it's their willingness to do business with me and understand that dropshipping business model because if the company is great, okay, but they ban me for being a reseller or they don't understand today's market um, and how we can all benefit from these services, then, you know, I cannot make money for them and I cannot make money for myself. So that's, that's very important. Um, you know, you can start working with a source and then all of a sudden, you know, they may refuse to work with you because they don't like your, your business model. And you know what? You should respect that. That's fine. But at the same time, you know, don't try to negotiate with, with it. Just move on and find somebody else that's willing to do business with you. So that there's plenty. Okay. So, um, another great question is, um, 
how big is your team and what do you look for when you hire a virtual assistant? Um, okay, well, I look for EQ, which is emotional intelligence. I'm lucky to work with, uh, with uh, my store manager and when we grow our team, we want to hire somebody else. She knows to look for someone that wants to work hard, um, learn a new and very challenging skill, especially because I'm hiring from Philippines. And remember, this is not their first language. English is not their first language. Neither is mine, but I mean, you know, uh, they're there and they don't necessarily have to use English for, for inside of Philippines. But for this job, it's very important that they have a, a good grasp of the English language especially because they're working with words a lot. So someone that's willing to, to learn, you know, English, um, um, you know, obviously look for synonyms and try to improve their English skills, especially if they choose to work as a customer service. Um, but most importantly, actually, when I, when I hire for someone, um, I'm, I want to know why she's or he wants to do the job. So what I mean by that is, so data entry and product listing on eBay is not necessarily a glamorous job, right? But it is the job that allows us the cash flow to, business, to build this business, okay? So, you know, I may not necessarily feel like I'm saving the world, but the listing part of it and understanding how to product place in your store, you know, is, allows us to use the cash flow to build a business, to how to learn to run it. It allows us to save and, for example, reinvest more money from the business into our lives, you know, more training, more skills. So I'm always more interested to find out about their why, their story before the skill. Skill can be taught, but energy, no, not really. <laughs> uh, four, I'm having extremely slow sales. I know I'm doing everything wrong. What's going on? Okay, so I know I covered this before and I've been kind of facetious before and I've tried to sort of play on words, but um, you're not doing everything right because if you were, okay, you would be having crazy sales and so will I, okay? Just, it's just the, the business, the e-commerce business is cyclical, okay? But um, when, you know, I feel my store should have more sales and I say that kind of lightly, um, there are three things I always revisit and check, okay, to see what's going on with my store. So. The number one thing which I my store struggles the most, and I'm going to admit it, okay, it's tracking, uploaded on time, and validated. Okay, so I do that. Okay, that I place my orders. I have a, a you know three day handling time for to process my orders, you know, but I do process my orders actually the same day within a couple hours. It's just unfortunate I I do not have control over when these items are shipped. And so, you know, at times the source would ship them past the three business day. Okay, so you know, unfortunately, because I don't have control over that, I do my best. I'm still currently sitting at 87%. Okay, like I cannot reach this 90%. And I know that has always been my biggest challenge. So this is my focus when I, when I actually place my orders. You know, I just do it right away. And I'm slowly bumping it up. Okay, I started at 83 in the summer and I'm 87. And this is actually, this takes a while to to get to let's say 90% when you're top rated. So uh, so I'm working. Okay, this is this is uh, this is I guess my downfall. But it's not because I'm lazy. It's because the sources are shipping all these items longer than three business days. So I, you know I'm I'm doing my best to work you know as as a facilitator and make everybody happy. So um, number two actually that I also check. Um, have I answered customer messages in less than 24 hours a day? Yes, that counts. Okay, you have to answer your question, your customers, even the crappy ones. Okay, and I've gotten some pretty crappy ones. And, you know, you just, just answer and acknowledge their answer. It's very important. Okay. And number three, what I check is, have I listed the same stuff for a while? I don't know, two, two months or whatever. You know, am I listing the same stupid tool? Like, or the same same category, oops, so same category, um, you know, um, I don't know, like cleaning products, and I have like a million categories I've been listing on it for the last two months. Shake things up. I, I shake things up. At that point, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start listing from, I don't know, yoga or something, right? So I, I like to I like to diverse, diversify my store. Some people like to pick a niche. I I, I like to sell a little bit of everything. So these are the thing, the three things that I check. Um, and then last question, which I get asked quite a lot, is why do you live in Playa del Carmen, Mexico? Well, the beaches, obviously. Um, no, not really. <laughs> I mean, yes, obviously it's a, it's a part of it, but I was looking for a place that can offer an adventure for myself, my son, for my family, um, a good school. I'm very, very, very happy with my son's school. Um, 
it's safe. Yes, it's safe. And platinum carbon is safe. Okay, and natural, natural environment, that more natural food, and um, you know, I used to love the high pace of Toronto, and Toronto is the most. I love that city. It's just um, I need a little bit of seclusion. I needed. I, I I don't know. I'm getting older or something, so I needed to just be near the beach. Blaya is expanding quite rapidly, actually, maybe too rapid, but uh, you know, it's got amazing culture, amazing food, great people. Um, and I just feel at home and I think home is where your heart is truly and so um, that's really why I live here um, I'm, I feel like home here and that's really the reason why anyways uh, thanks for listening and I hope you guys have a great week